This is Oldie. He's 80, but he looks like he's 40. Oldie is searching Cascade Hills to recruit survivors. He brought Santiago with him to train these survivors into assassins. Who will they find out there? Will they find you? Will you join Oldie's assassins? Let's find out. What is going like he did back in the neighborhood. We joke on this channel about raiding manifestations because they're so bad. Because this always happens. What is good, everybody? Sawsome. And I'm super excited because we are back with season two of That Guy, Oldie. And the guy to his right, Santiago. Here's how this season is going to work. Oldie is looking for you, season two. Oldie can only recruit survivors who share the name of you, one of the viewers. So in the comments, write your name or your nickname or your pet's name. And if I see a survivor on the map with that name, Oldie can recruit them. So my name is Matt. My brother calls me Alan. I have a dog named Boston. I would put all that in the comments. And then if Oldie finds a Matt or an Alan or a Boston, he can recruit him. Now, if you look to the right, you saw Santiago. Santiago completed the lethal zone with nothing but a knife. The guy with the black cap right there. Link to that playthrough in the description. Every survivor that Oldie recruits will be trained in the way of the assassin by Santiago. Pistols that are silenced and... Oh, crap. Pistols that are silenced and knives only. So this is going to be a pretty crazy playthrough. Base defense players can have rifles and stuff. Oldie can have whatever Oldie wants because Oldie's a legend. But for the rest of the crew, it's going to be silenced pistols and knives only. If you want to jump in a multiplayer, you can jump in and become an honorary member of Oldie's assassins. To do so, you must kill a pharaoh with nothing but a knife. You can do that. You will be mentioned in every episode henceforth as one of his honorary assassins. Protect the old man. Protect the old man. He's 80, but he looks like he's 40. This character that I'm playing as right now is about to get kicked out anyway. Holy cow. Holy cow. Get off of Oldie. All right. Oh, well, this is off to a crazy start. All right. Get off Oldie. Protect Oldie at all costs. Well, Sue here, whatever her name is being plagued, avoids an awkward situation in about five minutes. Because she wasn't going to be able to stay. Okay. Wow. I think I said everything I needed to say as far as letting you know what this playthrough is all about. All right. Well, let's get to base. Make sure no one else is plagued. All right, Santiago's untouched. Nice. Well, let's get to base. Nice. Okay, so uh, I got a little confused there. Don't know exactly what I said. We can have up to one player. Maybe once in a while I'll have two guests join. And if you kill a feral with nothing but your knife, you join all these assassins. Help me kill a heart, kill a feral. But when you come into the game, all you can bring is a knife and a silenced pistol. Of course, any meds and cures you can bring to. But Oldie, he's gonna be scouring Cascade Hills, looking for survivors, looking for you. And it's gonna be awesome. Oldie is amazing, it's so fun. If you missed his first playthrough, it's called Heroes of Drucker County. That's where we found Oldie. I'll put that in the description. You can see his roots, where he came from as a background character, helping the heroes of Drucker County save Drucker County. Then he returned to his home in Trumbull Valley, only to find the plague had spread there. And now, he's here. He's looking for you. This will be a long playthrough. We want to develop characters. We want to run missions. We want to, uh, all that good stuff. And all the characters we find, they're all going to be trained in the ways of close quarters combat. Okay. 
hear a few. Okay. Guess I didn't clear those downstairs rooms. Screamer. I don't know if I'll get to it on time. Oh, okay, he's way over there. Let's see if we can claim base. Can she claim base? Before she dies. This will be her one contribution to the team. Erica. Goodbye, Erica. Oldie. Shake it off, pal. Are right, we gonna keep whatever they had left on them from previous playthroughs or whatever? I don't know what they had in their backpacks, but we'll keep it and we'll use it. This playthrough is really all about you. I brought in the boon, um, Trader Boon, so I'd have influence. Ooh, he's got a lot of guns and stuff. Fortun unfortunately, uh, we can use them for base defense only. Um, but I brought in a lot of influence so I could recruit players. And uh, we'll get some rucks here from this guy just to get us off to a good start. Get a little bit of everything. So you may be saying, I don't get it. What's so cool about this guy with a yellow trench coat, goofy hat, and boots? Well, he's Oldie. And Oldie's the perpetual underdog, loved by this channel. Maybe the favorite character I have. Because his handicap is uh, cardio, four max stars. Fighting, he's topped off at three stars. He's a pretty good shot. After all, he fought in World War I and World War II, and he's only 80 years old, so there's a mystery there. But he's the underdog everyone loves to root for. That's why, Oldie. And to be clear, you can participate in this playthrough in one of two ways, or maybe both. You can be watching, and simply watching for your name to pop up in one of these enclaves, and tell me, recruit that guy. And then you live through me, and you root for that character, because that character represents you. I want to fill this enclave to the max with you guys. It's going to be awesome. And some of you may get to jump in and actually game with me. Kill some hearts, run some missions, kill some ferals, join the Assassins Guild, Oldies Assassins. I'll be honest, at this season of life, that's going to be tricky, but if you hang with me, we will find a time to get you in here to the best of my ability. I'm working full-time and part-time and raising a family, so these next few months are really busy for me, but we're going to do our best to keep gaming together. With all that being said, let's let this playthrough get rolling. Oldie in Santiago. Let's see what Santiago's got in his backpack. So he's got a bunch of guns. Looks like he's got a handgun ammo press. That'll come in handy, especially because we're going to be using a lot of handguns, so that's fortunate. Uh, some, uh, some samples. That's good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I like it. Um, we need to get an infirmary ASAP. We need to get that vehicle up ASAP. Hopefully the vehicle's got what we need in it to build an infirmary. So let's go get that vehicle. There's the Pharaoh. I remember that guy. Let's see what we got in the trunk. Give me something good. It's hoping for materials, but that's okay. Nerves of steel. Yeah. Get him, Nope. Need to put the fuel in it. All right, let's go get some materials so we can build an infirmary. We cannot risk getting plagued without an infirmary with these superstar legendary survivors. So let's do that right away. We'll search a lot of this other stuff later at night. Then we'll go see who we have around us. Maybe you're already here. 
That guy's already here. Just want to find some materials. Stomp your head in. Oldie the man, he's 80, but he looks like he is 40. The guy looks amazing. His story is so cool. How the heroes of Drucker County found him, how he went to Trumbull Valley and found a bunch of you guys. And when I asked the joint members like what they wanted to do, this is the story they came up with. And it's open to everybody, so it's awesome. Alright, there's some materials. Very cool. Alright. Maybe one more ruck of materials and then we can get really rolling on this. That's close quarters combat right there, all maxed out for you. Let's check this area out. Usually at this point I'm looking for a heavy weapon. It's kind of funny. I'm not going to be using heavy weapons in this. It's so different than what I'm used to doing. Angle kind of got me weird there. That's okay. Found the materials. Ooh, some fuel. Nice. Ooh, more materials. Nice. I always say good things happen when you loot. Kidding, you guys know I rarely say things like that. Alright, we got tons of materials. We can go build some stuff. And we can go meet this people in the area around us. And see if you're here. Okay, let's build something. Nine mil, nice. Okay, I miss Erica already. Who misses Erica? We got ten left. How much for this? Eight. Oh, we don't need that yet. We'll do that later. Let's get a little bit more. All right, let's go meet some survivors. We got the Boon Trader. They're not going to be recruitable. And we got the Snack Scavengers. Okay. Maybe they got some Rice Krispie squares for us. Yeah, this playthrough, we want to build a community. We want to level up survivors. We really want to just have a good, thorough playthrough. Run through the missions, do all the cool stuff. Have some of you guys join me. We're going to enjoy this run. It's going to be fun. Hey! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is this the Boon Trader right here? Yeah, so we're going to skip them. Because I don't think we can ever recruit them. But we will go check out... These other peoples here to see if you're here.
Alright, let's see if your name is here. Or your dog's name is here, or your cat's name, or your parrot, or your kid, or your grams. Let's go see. I love meeting survivors in this game. We got Thorn. Alright, let's see what his name is. Let's let's first reach out to him. Feel free to reach out. That guy's got some armor uh, army gear on. Dinesh. Okay. We got Dinesh. Not sure how to say that last name. But I don't know if any of you have that name. Let me know. That would be awesome. And if you go by Dinesh. Alright, Dinesh, who do we got here? Sodi. Sodi, alright. Uh, Gina. Gina Sodi. Alright, any Ginas out there? Gina Sodi. Let's see where our third one is. Thorn, let's see if that's his real name. And Thiago Duerte. Duerte, we might have a Duerte out there. So if you got like a last name, whatever, man, we're not going to be picky. We want it to be fun. So are any of you watching who share names of those survivors we just found? Let me know in the comments. Ooh, it looks like some good stuff here. All right, I'm going to loot this building. I'll show you what I get. Ooh, two rocks. Holy smokes. Yeah, I feel like this lethal zone is loaded. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. Show him I was done, Santiago. More fireworks. Okay. Soldering mod. Ooh, we can craft boom boxes. Gior. Gior. Oh, we can craft boom boxes. Who would have thought it? Got duts. We have an infestation already. We can get some influence for defeating that. And we want to keep these things. We want to play this right. Usually I ignore them and there's 18 of them at the end of the game. But this game would be cool to play it right. Well, he screamed fast. All right. All right let's go take care of business. Where is this infestation? It's over here. I love coffee outposts. I love coffee drive throughs I lived in Seattle for a while. They have a lot of those little booths. It's so cool. And this game just has a lot of nostalgia in it for me. Especially Providence Ridge. Alright. Rate me on this. Oh, crap. Seriously? Seriously? Alright. What do I have? I got a molly. I'd like to deal separately with the Baba Yaga. Here he comes. Okay, so if you can do this, you're pretty amazing. But if you can do this, you'll be in all these assassins guild. You'll be an honorary member of all these assassins if you can kill a feral in this playthrough with just a knife. You can use powerhouse if you'd like. Or you can just beat him down with your knife and your skills. Thirteen. Okay, let's get rid of those. Let's chuck this. Got rid of some. Okay, let's take care of these the old-fashioned way. Like he did back in the neighborhood. We joke on this channel about raiding my infestations because they're so bad. Because this always happens. Like, I get in here, I get too loud. The infestation grows. Bowling. Okay. I'm thinking this infestation somewhere in the range of 
a three out of ten. But it's done. Almost. Nope, too tired. There we go. One left. Get her, Santiago. Get her. Knife to the face. All right. Cool. Well, we are set up for a really good playthrough, guys. All right, y'all. In the middle of the first episode, we got our first multiplayer. My buddy Zero. Zero, you ready to go become an assassin? Yeah, in the words of Mills Lane, let's get it on. Let's do it. All right, so Zero's packing a pistol. He's got a knife, and he's got some medical supplies. Those are the rules for the playthrough. Can't bring in rifles. There's Oldie. He's working on something. He's tinkering like an old man, just tinkering in the yard. Indeed. All right. Well, we're not sure if we'll see a feral. Um, not sure if Zero's character's ready to take on a feral one-on-one -on -one with just a knife. We'll play it by ear. But first heart, we might not see a feral anyway. We've seen two or three already on the map today, believe it or not. Cool. And uh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go find the first heart and take it out. And that will be so the first episode. So we're allowed to shoot the heart or just yeah. try and get it with the knife? Whatever, man. You got your handgun, so you can shoot it. Um, you can yeah. stab it. We're going to run wild just before the sun goes down. So I do a little combo. Uh, you know, I forgot to bring a cure, so if I get plagued, I might ask you for one, but I think we'll be okay. Got you. All right, I'll kind of watch your back on this first phase. I'll try to watch your back. I'll try to intercept the zombies as they come in. So far, so good. This is first. And just jabbing at the same dude's getting tired. Yeah. Well, catch your breath. I'll help you out here. Uh, about to fade. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh. Oh, no. And I'm kind of stuck That's over here good. for now. What's just your character? Do, nice your, nice do you know your survivor's name? Do you know your survivor's name? Um, Andrews. Oh, Andrews. All right. I wish they would let you change the name. On yeah, this. that would be so cool. Although it kind of makes it fun that when you find them and they have a funny name or something cool. So I don't know. I'm conflicted. It definitely would be cool. But it makes finding like a sawhorse or something crazy kind of special. I was about to close that oh, door. I got on you. Me. I got I'm you. I'm with you. I'm back on the heart with you. I'll back watch your back again. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, like cave fish. Who, who ever thought about cave fish? I love it. That's one of my favorite elements of this game is just finding and discovering survivors. That's why I like this oldies looking for you playthrough. All right, we got two phases. Stuck behind the bar. Watch your back, you got one coming. All right, cool. I got him. Yeah, we've I've seen two ferals on the map and they actually right. did some damage. So I'm a little surprised we don't see one at the first heart. I got the Zeds. Cool, cool. Yeah, this will give my uh, hero bonus up, so this is good. Nice. Got it. Nice. Oh, and there's a pistol. And the zombies are closing in, brother. Oh, I forgot to give you that suppressor. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we're good, man. You good? Let's fight this yep, out. I'm good whenever... We'll have some fun, fight it out for a minute. If it gets too crazy, we can get out of here. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, well, no ferals presented themselves to give you a chance at the Assassin's Guild. Oh, no. We can get out of here. Did you just get plagued or no? Uh, yeah. Okay, we can get out of here. But I'm good. Let's hit the car. I'm only half plagued. Okay. Okay, so you're not, like, dying yet. No, not dying. Oh, bloater. Oh. Dead bloater. All right, let's get out of here. Nice. Screamer, it's time to go. I got the loot out of the yeah. heart anyway. All right, Zero. Join in for the beginning are. of the playthrough. Yeah, now I got to get right. going to work. So this is going to conclude episode one. You didn't see a feral that gave you any opportunity to get in the Assassin's Guild. But I appreciate you jumping in last minute 
into episode one with me, man. Awesome. Absolutely, brother. We'll we'll practice the kick, kick, pirouette, backflip, triple spin, and then I'll come back and join the guild. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. You got an open invitation. And any of you, uh, dude. if you saw your name in here, let me know. If you saw your name on the map, we'll recruit you. We want this to be a long playthrough where we go to different bases, we build up the base, we get awesome characters. This is going to be kind of a long 20 to 30 episode playthrough. So join me for the whole ride. Santiago, Oldie, and friends. Zero, thanks again, man, for risking your character with just a knife. Absolutely. Adios, brother. Take care. All right, we're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse. What is going inside? Zombies looking outside